Today on Wisloud TV, we are unboxing the white iPhone 11. Then I'm going to show you how to transfer from a Pixel 3a to the iPhone 11, and then how to transfer from an iPhone 10 to the iPhone 11. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Wisloud TV. We're not going to spend too much time on the unboxing because everyone already knows what Apple puts in the new iPhone boxes. You have your iPhone. Design-wise this year on the iPhone 11, there are a few changes. The Apple logo moved to the center of the phone and there are now two cameras. In the box, besides the iPhone of course, there are instructions on how to use the device, charging cables, and of course, a standard pair of Apple headphones. Before you can transfer your information over to the iPhone, you have to do the basic setup like choosing your language, location, and setting up a Wi-Fi connection so you can eventually transfer info between devices. You'll also set up Face ID, but make sure you press the correct buttons before trying to scan your face. Am I not? Oh wait, I didn't press get started. <laughs> <laughs> Face ID is now set up. Mm -mm. The second to last step before you transfer your information is setting up a passcode for your new iPhone 11. Then you'll come to a screen with a few options for transferring phones. So right now we are going to choose move data from Android. We are moving from a Pixel 3a to an iPhone 11. To move from an Android to an iPhone, you'll need to download the app Move to iOS on your current phone. Your iPhone will give you a code, which you will input into Move to iOS. Then your two phones will connect and the transfer process will begin. But just a heads up, it could take several hours. Time remaining, seven hours and 53 minutes. <laughs> oh man. So we're a little shocked by this time. There was only three gigabytes in the camera roll, three gigabytes in the messages, and not even a gigabyte with everything else that was transferring. So four hours now is still quite a while. Okay, so we didn't actually finish the transfer from this Pixel 3a to the iPhone 11 because it was taking way too long. We waited about 30 minutes and it said only about 7% was transferred. And plus there were lots of interesting quirks in the transfer process that was taking it just way too long. So now we're going to transfer my information from my iPhone 10 and see how that goes. You don't have to download any apps when transferring from iPhone to iPhone. All you need to do is log into your iCloud account and your most recent iCloud backup will download to your new phone. So it's important to back up your iCloud before transferring or you could lose some data. This whole process took less than 10 minutes. Oh, we're set up. Easy peasy. Then you'll have to wait a little while longer for your new iPhone to fully download all the settings from your previous phone. So transferring from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 11 was a lot more simple than trying to transfer from the Pixel to the 11. It took, didn't take as long, it was much faster, much simpler, and this phone is already almost all set up in 30 minutes. I'm just waiting for all the apps to download and we would have been sitting here for another few hours waiting for the Pixel to, to transfer to the iPhone 11. Overall, I'd say transferring from iPhone to iPhone is much easier than transferring from an Android to an iPhone. So keep that in mind if you're maybe looking to switch to the iPhone or if you're just maybe wanting to wait for the new Pixel to come out, just do that and you can transfer from Android to Android. So that's the video for today. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below, but be sure to subscribe. We'll be doing one more video with the iPhone 11. We'll be comparing Siri to Google Voice to see which is better. And then in the coming months, we'll also be comparing transferring from an Android, from an iPhone to an Android and comparing that process. And I'm betting it's gonna be just a little bit more simple and a lot faster. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV.